so hi everyone my name is shankar and today i'm back to my youtube channel again with my shotri with me he recently cracked micron technologies and today he is with me and i'll take his interview let's get started so himanshu shotri tell us about yourself uh so hi uh, as you know my name myself my shotri i'm currently a final year ec undergraduate at national institute of technology delhi Recently, I have cracked a Micron through an off-campus drive, and I have been offered a role of DEG verification engineer, associate DEG verification engineer. If I may correct myself, and for this, I have prepared through internships. Like I did my internships at IIT Indore and CDEC Mali, in the RTL design domain. It is quite a bit similar with the verification domain. Like both are front-end of VLSI, so that helped me through this. So that's all. Okay. So firstly, I want to know. How many offers did you get totally, and how many of them were off campus? The number. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, the to be precise, I got around I guess five offers, uh, out of which two were on campus, and all on campus offers were consultancy giants, like one of the big fours were them. And if I consider the rest three, those were off campus offers, and those all three of them were. core electronic companies yeah. so one of them were micron and one was a us based startup and another was a service based company so okay so before deep diving into your preparations and experience i want to know the company's work and your job profile over there yeah okay sure uh so let me uh, go through like this uh, like there is intel you might know about intel so intel works on the processors there is a specific domain Uh, nvidia works on gpus and ai related things so when it comes down to micron micron is uh, primarily associated with the storage elements like the ram the solid state drives you you have heard of ddr4 ddr3 yes. these all are the products of micron so micron is associated with the storage elements and i would be working as an deg verification dram and emerging group verification uh, engineer associate in associate in that group so that's what i would be doing here i don't have the exact idea what i would be doing yeah. but that's quite a overview of this yeah that makes sense okay so first tell us about your learning and preparation experience i mean how much you will consider that okay this comes from college part this comes from being an ieee head this comes from internship and gate preparation everything so yeah tell us about that mm. so uh, to be very honest uh, shanu the thing is like what we are preparing if we are preparing for gate that thing doesn't actually works in the industry like if you, let's say if you are preparing for gate you are solving problems but that is not required in the industry straight away there are some things extra skills that you need to focus on so that you can bridge the gap between the college information or college education and what is required at the industry level so if i uh, give a certain percentage to, to them yes. so i would say in, uh, internships plays a major role because while you are interning you are actually working on the real problems then you get to know the actual peculiarities which may arise in the real world so i will assign around 45 to 50% to internships mm-hmm. uh 20% to gate because the thing is gate uh, knowledge the knowledge of core concepts is the basis of everything right. so you need to be uh, good in that so in order to do well uh, further so 20% to gate and uh, if i may mention there is 30% you need you have need to have a vision vision is very important so i will assign 10% to vision like you need to have a clear vision from the beginning because that's very important in this so my next question is that when someone prepares for software jobs i mean software developer jobs there are some platforms that are well known for dsa like geeks for geeks lead code and some more so are there some platforms or websites which are required for preparation for jobs in ec code or some websites where one can go through to get their interest in electronics yeah unfortunately there are quite less as in if we compare with the coding part okay. there in coding there are lots of things but the major things that will help you or this website that will help you in code preparation or doubts uh, doubt solving is the forums like for zilinx the zilinx have their own forums intel have their own forums and stack exchange is always there for you electronic stack exchange so these three i have uh, used a lot especially the forums because there are some sort of doubts which you can't find any which you can't find anywhere on the web so if you uh, type uh, copy the specific uh, error statement 
and paste that on the forum so you can get to know where there is the issue so the yeah. forums are very important to the stack exchange that's all i can say so one of the major doubts that i and many other students have is that as per my information core companies i mean ece core companies look for mtech students preferably and yeah. because you get into a core company after doing btech so what do you think about it and are there any mtech concepts you prepared for please tell us about that yeah okay sure so uh, actually the thing is every perception if we see every perception is based on some sort of real life experiences right yeah. so if there is a gen like intel if you go with intel then intel hires for 11 months intern and that aren't possible for a btech guy so that way that's where the thing is that mtech guy gets preferred because of the availability of the internship duration that is 11 months and also the fact is if you are doing mtech then you are actually specialization you are actually getting specialization into a certain domain so that really helps in a core domain because the things if if it goes into the process that are these are very difficult to change in the chip designing process so you need specialization you need some sort of uh, precision in that point so that's why uh, some advanced knowledge as well as the internship duration that is being uh, given to the mtech students that gives them a edge over a btech guy and the company prefers a mtech student so but yes in order we also there are some many cases in which btech guys are also competing with them so if you want to stand at the same level with the mtech guy you need to study some of the other things related to the mtech concepts like if if i consider in my case they, these topics are linked uh, clock domain crossing uh, static timing analysis tfo design and all so these are the major things related to the rtl design domain which i was in so you need to work on them right and the basics of vlsi that's a course in btech but you need to work on that as well so yeah. yes you need to work on mtech topics okay okay now my next yeah. question is did you participate in some hackathons or mapathons like thing because these are quite general in engineering times too is there any such thing in core as well uh, yes uh, like I, i participated in this itb isro mapathon like it was a mapathon based on the qgi software it was on the second year of my btech so yes i participated and yeah it was a good experience but uh, it was not actually related to what i am doing right now as a different thing now i am in a different thing okay so this is all about the preparations you make the mapathons you took the extra things you did now moving to the exact thing how did you apply to different companies by this i mean what platforms you used linkedin career portals referral or some other platform or is there any number like these number of total applications you did and these number of total responses you get and all that so can you tell us about okay. that and how many rounds were there how many questions were there some brief or some okay, sure. idea yeah sure, sure. so uh, mostly i applied through linkedin linkedin was the only career portal that i was referring to and i i applied to various i i can't tell you the number like initially for i thought for me it was very important to get into this domain like into the real estate industry as through, because if i consider the on campus opportunity analog devices came and i missed that opportunity so uh, so it was a setback for me but yeah i applied to various service based company but but they were not accepting me they were not responding to my mails so then the opportunities in product based companies like nvidia micron uh, kdins started to pop up through in the linkedin feed i applied fortunately got into cleared the written stages of two or three good uh, product based company and finally i'm here so yeah it's it's all through the linkedin but i can't tell you the number for service based company i have emailed to so many hrs but uh, they didn't turn, turn up so that's all i can say in this now my next question is i want to know what piece of advice you would like to give juniors who are about to come into their final year phase and some seniors who might be struggling to get into the core company if you have some suggestions for them yeah uh, okay so the one thing like i always uh, say or uh, i always say everyone that is it's all about the belief that you have right i all i'll read a quote somewhere that that the your reality is the reflection of your strongest belief it's all about holding and believing yourself at the lowest point of time because the amount of opportunities or the vast opportunities that software side has to offer 
can make your focus shift towards that yes at sometimes you might feel that okay i might shift into it field or i should start coding but at that point of time you need to believe yourself and that's all because it's all about the belief if you have the vision right and you believe yourself and at the lowest amount of time then you will definitely uh, get into this it's all about the belief nothing else that's so, nice. all right so okay so my next question is that at what level or at what point of time one can say that okay he is ready for the core applications i mean core companies application for example in case of software development it is suggested that okay if you are fine with dsa you are fine with operating system dbms computer network some low level design computer network then you can apply over there and maybe some failures would make you better and then you will be getting into some company so at what point in case of core one should be ready to apply and are there some things you would say that okay these subjects are mandatory to get into it okay so like i am uh, i am talking about rtl design or the verification the front end part of elsc okay so because i am into this i can't be able to comment more on the analog or the back end side so i would be majorly focusing on the rtl design okay so um, in rtl design the first and foremost is the digital design system design that's very important basics of digital electronics these are very important then digital system design then very log because like you can also learn vhdl but primarily very log is used in the industry so very log static timing analysis you need to study because the thing is it's very important it's it is very important in the practical world because if you are not considering sta then you are not able to get the operating frequency and all there very various things but it's very important to learn sta then then the one is very log i said cdc if you want to because it's more about the advancement if you get the basics right then you can go to learn cdc and its application like the synchronous paper design cdc is very much viable there so yes these things i would say are necessary the basics of elsi like the cmos and all the mos structures its application that these sort of things you need to study all right. and yeah that's all things okay okay so my next question is about resume so because i have heard that resume matters a lot in off campus application so yeah how much do you think resume is important and is there any template or some tips you can share with us so one can make resume according to the core companies yeah okay uh yeah that's you are right chan about this that resume is very important and how you present yourself is very important presentation matters a lot because when you are emailing to the recruiter through any process then uh, i have also emailed like you you need to mention your name and then your cgpa these sort of if someone says cgpa doesn't matter it matters a lot yes. now through off campus drive so because the subject is like your name and your cgpa if you have you are not having a good cgpa i guess the recruiter won't see the in a resume so it's very important and about a resume uh, i would say that it should be pinpointed no extra thing should be there it should consist of projects because projects and very log because you if you are doing rtl designing you would be able to do projects here and there because it's quite easy to dive into the vivado tool and explore that if you have the basics right so you need to have good projects uh you that's all i can say projects are very important in this because until and unless you are not having a, some sort of practical exposure all those the theory part is unnecessary so projects and internships i would say you need to focus on okay. so so is there any template you can share with us maybe through the description not right now oh uh, yeah sure like i have made it very simple the eda tools that i i work on i simply mention them the languages i know simply yeah sure uh, bullet points i will share with you thank you so much no okay so my next question is that what is your plan to do next by this i am not asking you to share some secret thing if you have any but uh, some things that you can tell so that people can understand your mindset your mentality the way you think that part so what are you planning next uh after getting okay, into the so yeah. so uh look shanu uh, how i think is uh, for me like if i have taken birth as a human the most prime form of uh, living being so somewhere or not it is my responsibility to contribute or give back to the society so by 
in according to me how i can uh, give back to the society is through innovation so i would be seeing myself working in some new technology in the r&d team in the coming years so that's all i can say okay so probably i got the quick glimpse of how you prepared what topics you did and some forums you told me how you applied linkedin emails how much of project and internship matter and how much cgp matters how and what things to be presented in resume okay so is there anything you feel that i missed i should ask please share that um i don't think i guess we may, i don't think we missed anything the okay. cgp i thought we have discussed that cgp is important through in off campus drives if someone says that it is not important cgp is just a sheet of paper that's all crap and yeah. cgp matters a lot because in the many in the emails you need to write your name and in the subject your name and cgp and your college name in the emails okay. so that sort of things happens so cgp is important and it's all about the focus and belief in core like that's what i will say okay so my last question is that is there some piece of advice you will give especially to our college juniors by that i mean nit delhi juniors Sorry. because uh-huh. you are more familiar with the nit delhi environment so is there any piece of advice you will give especially to our college juniors to get into the core company if they are interested uh first of all the juniors i have met till now they are superb so i have the belief that in the upcoming future many of many more many of the students will be more inclined towards the course and now the semicon is happening the foundry is being setting up in india so there will be loads of opportunities in the core side so all i have to say is just have the belief make a vision make a plan and proceed accordingly you don't need to be scared of anything you don't need to be you need to work on the process result is after effect of the process so focus okay. on the process that's all i would say and they will yeah. do better i guess than me i feel yeah <laughs> there are good good serious juniors here yeah. as people are growing up students are getting more smart even i feel that that's right yeah okay so i guess i have gone through every aspect of it then yeah maybe if anyone gets any doubt they can comment in the comment section and himanshu atri will go through them and even yeah, i'll share sure. handles of himanshu atri on instagram or linkedin if he is fine with it uh, yeah sure no worries all right so thank you everyone